All right, it's been a while since I have put up a video about me opening beehives. So this is a little interesting story about this resource hive. As you guys know, I've become a big fan of the resource hive this year. I, I have three resource hives. Uh, two of them I used for walkaway splits, and this one I used for a split that I then introduced a queen to each side. On this left side here, I put in a I put in Russian bees and a Carniolan queen, and they have since graduated up to a full size box over here. And there's they're eight frames strong, doing great. This side over here has been a little bit odd. I took bees from New Package Hive over here, and I added a Carniolan queen to them back in May. New queen. The Carniolan queen immediately started laying. She was doing great. It was probably about three weeks or so. There was brood building up. They were they were both both sides of the hive were building up similar similar rates. Then one day I came in here and the Carniolan queen was gone. However, two days earlier, my little walkaway split over here from Balboa was missing a queen. It had been a walkaway split, and I saw the queen in the Balboa walkaway split hive. A couple days later, she was gone. So yeah, there's no brood in here whatsoever. Because there's no there's no eggs. It's been two weeks. They successfully uh, bred a queen, but she didn't make it back. Um, either she didn't mate, she didn't make it back. A couple days later, in this box, I noticed an unmarked queen, and the Carniolan queen was missing. Oh, all right, we got eggs, and we have an unmarked queen. We have an unmarked queen. And I wonder if our queen from the other hive flew out on a mating flight and came back to the wrong hive. Wouldn't that be kind of silly? That looks a lot like the queen that was in our 10 frame nuke over there. So, you know, I thought, well, that queen must have gone out on a mating flight, come back and landed in this hive and done something to the Carniolan Queen. I imagine some kind of fist fight or, or death match, but who knows what actually happened. However, there was an unmarked queen in here who started laying eggs. So that went on for several weeks. I, I, started, I was noticing brood. It was kind of a slow buildup, but there was definitely brood. There were eggs being laid in there. So about a month ago, I go in this hive to just do a regular inspection, and I notice uh, queen cells. Yeah, there she is. She's going right in the queen cup. Look at that. She just climbed right in there. Is there anything in the queen cups? Yes, there is royal jelly in the queen cups. So, what do we do here? Royal jelly in there. Do we let them supersede? There's no way they're swarming. There's eggs in the cells. There's eggs over here, and this this queen right here is she's she's doing her thing. There are eggs in this hive, so I feel like I want to let them do what they want to do. I feel like I'm just gonna let them go. They're not gonna swarm. There's no there's no reason to swarm here. And I immediately think these bees know what they're doing. I'm gonna just let them go. Let these let these things play out however they're gonna play out. So about a week ago, I went in here. I noticed that the queen cells were were hatched. They were open. They were gone. However, I did see that little unmarked queen from earlier in the summer still running around on the frames. So I figure, well, those uh, those supersedure cells hatched, and either they're out on mating flights, or they just didn't make it, or the bees tore them down, or I don't know what happened. Now, yesterday though, something very interesting happened. Check this out. Really nice frame of brood right here. Look at that big fat queen right there, okay? That is not the unmarked queen I was talking about earlier. That is a very large, very stripy queen. So she was in there, and I thought, 
we got a new queen. That was definitely a queen that hatched from the supersedure cell because she is new. So nice, big, long, stripy queen laying all over this frame. Eggs and larvae everywhere. So, good, good news. Okay, now let me just look in the bottom. That's where I saw what I saw last night. Yeah, right there. Right in the middle of this hive. Look right in the middle of that frame. That's the unmarked queen that I saw a, like a month and a half ago in here. She's still walking around on the frame. So I think this was originally a Balboa queen that got lost on a mating flight, came in here, and either was poorly mated or not mated or I don't know what. But they made a new queen from her eggs. And she is now in here. She's, she's surrounded by bees and she's laying. So we have two queens in this hive. She just laid an egg. Just something interesting, very interesting to me. Not sure what to do about it. I guess while she's still alive, we got, you know, they're not fighting, the bees are into it. Just let them both lay. Fill up the hive with eggs. So much drama this year. It's just, it's, I guess it's always like this, right? Dealing with queens and bees and 